Just in, IPOB conspired with soldiers to kill Brafians, planning to kill Inam Kanu. See what Simon Epa reviewed. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for tuning in and listening to this headline that we get to your this morning. As our headline for this morning says here that Just in, IPOB conspired with soldiers to kill Brafians, planning to kill Inam Kanu. See what um, Simon Epa reviewed. Well, Simon Epa, who is a self-proclaimed Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, had made a stalling accusation against both the Nigerian army and the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. Well, in a recent tweet on post, a recent um, post on X, formerly known as Twitter, Epa alleged that IPOB has been working with the Nigerian army to kill Biafrans. He also accused the group of plotting on that, plotting to murder in Abdukanu. The detained leader of the IPOB. A past post, as cited by the latest news blog, came that IPOB had conspired with the Nigerian army, which he referred to as terrorists, to attack Kanu at his home. During the incident, he said over 100 IPOB members were killed, and IPOB reported, reported only 28 deaths at the time. Epa further, further described IPOB as a political group. That has missed Braf- uh, that has missed Brafians for the past decade, causing the death of many innocent people. Well, Ekpa's statement reads: The IPOB Nigeria have pushed thousands of Brafians to early grave in the past ten years, even planned with the Nigerian terrorists, yes, to go and kill Mazen in his house. On the process, uh, on the process, over a hundred of their own members were killed. They reported twenty-eight persons dead. This criminal political pressure group of Nigeria Limited is warning the people they are in agreement with the funny they are in agreement with the Nigerian army. And the funny part of it is that those behind the keyboard have no name. They are unknown. Well, his statement have caused an uproar, especially with the um coincide with new alleged by IPOB, the pro group through its media and publicity secretary, Iman Powerful released a statement accusing the Nigerian army and police of secretly carrying out a strategical killings of the Igbo youth, particularly in Olu Imo states. IPB claimed that these killings are part of a larger plan to eliminate the Igbo population in the southeast. The group condemned the latest incident in which youths from Ubidi, Ubiru, and Hiti Uwiri, Olu, were allegedly shot dead by soldiers. According to victims, the victim were, were, were the innocent youth going about their daily businesses when they accosted and killed without cause. The group described this act as ethnic cleansing and blamed the Nigerian government for sponsoring the violence. IPB statement also accused the current government of continuing to, of con- of continue to oppressive politics of the pre- previous administration under Muhammadu Bari. The group warned that these attacks are were pursuing Igbo youth to the blink of a radicalization. Well, Iman Powerful's statement also called on Igbo leaders, both at home and abroad, as well as the international community, to take note of the ongoing violence. So, IPOB needs that. Hope IPOB needs that. If the extrajudicial killings are not supposed, this are not stopped. The situation could escalate into a full-blown conflict, ramificant of the Biafran War of 1967 to 1960 to 1970. The group also emphasized that the Igbo leaders. The Igbo people are not seeking conflict, but are being forced into a position where they may have to defend themselves. IPB called for an urgent referendum to determine whether the Brafian wants to remain part of Nigeria or become independent. Well, they stressed that forcing Brafians to stay in Nigeria through violence and intimidation would only increase um, resentment and depth in, in the divide. Though, as, accus- as the accusation for Bra- um, from both some and the IPOB continues to unfold, the situation in the South East remains tense. Many fear that if the violence is not addressed, it could lead to further unrest in the region. The call for international intervention, our growing data, and the fate of many innocent lives hangs in the balance. And that is all we have for you concerning this headline today this morning, which says here that just in, IPOB is conspiring with soldiers to kill Brafias, planning to kill in Amdekanu. See what Simon Epa said. Well, before I move on, don't forget if you want to subscribe at the best you can do right here, right now, is to tap that subscribe button, hit notification bell, leave a like on the video to get more updates concerning this internet future to come. 
Well, some Epa, who is a, a self proclaimed prime minister of Bafra public and government, in his official ex account, yes, he made an accusation against both the Nigerian army and the indigenous people of Bafra. He made an accusation against the Nigerian army and the indigenous people of Bafra because all what all what that was said in his post, he says that the uh, some IPOB are working with with the Nigerian army that wants to kill him. Um, in the county, which is bad, yes, which is bad. And the post was cited by the latest news blog. We claimed that IPOB had conspired with the Nigerian army, which he referred to as terrorists, to attack Kanu at his home. Yes, not, every, not, 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 every, not, not everybody is perfect. Maybe the Nigerian army has others, um, IPOB, they have them, they have paid them already to help them, and the guys help them, they have to help them. And even when they went to read it, to read them in the Kanu's house, he was not there. And that resulted to killings of more than 100 IPOB personnel. More than 100, nothing they were IPOB personnel. Yes, the statement says that the IPOB Nigeria, they pushed thousands of Brafias to early grave for the past 10 years, even planned with the, even planned to kill in the Kanu in his house. And on the process, over 100, 100 of their members were killed, and he only reported 28 persons that were killed. The only, um, yes, they let everyone know that it is 28 personnel that died that day. Meanwhile, according to the report, 100 personnel died that very same day. Even within the IPU, began said there are some betrayals. Yes, there are some betrayals. The only solution that the Southeastern need, people need right now, say for peace, is for Namikan to be to be out of jail. That is why people like um, Simon Epa and a lot of other people are still agitating for the release of Namikan. So I hope you join them. Like seriously, I really hope you join them. But what do you guys think? Drop a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. Then tap the subscribe button to be good on with the notification bell. So anytime I have a new video, you will be the first to get notified about it. Once again, thank you for tuning in and have a wonderful day ahead of you.